Hey, no folks, it's Ron from Nice Beer Reviews and Tools. I just saw earlier the can, the brick red from Sam Adams. Uh, Boston Beer Works is the true name of the company. Uh, looks like we got a good one today. Uh, in lines of the uh, Irish Red Ales, it's brick red. So it should be uh, reddish looking in the can when we do pour it. And um, sounds like it'll be a good ale. I, I really don't enjoy uh, the red ales, the Irish red ales. Um, they're a true ale. They're they're uh, they're a good good type of uh, a style of of ale. But um, I lean more towards the bottom from it, the, the lagers type brews, and now really the uh, New England juice bombs. But anyways, uh, let me give you information on this uh, brewery. It's raining here in Massachusetts. I'm under the uh, canopy right now. So nice and dry, but it's a rainy day here. Um, let's see. Uh, the Sam Adams Brick Red is a 5.8% alcohol by volume. Yep, 5.8% alcohol by volume. I really don't have any of the... They don't give the information on the malt or the hops that are in these brews. Uh, location is 30 Germania Street, Boston. Uh, they have a couple of locations. They also have um, in Faneuil Hall. They have a, a tap room in Faneuil Hall now, which is nice. A very, a very big tourist attraction there. Um, the brewery was founded by Mr. James Cook. Cook, the pronouncer Cook, K-O-C-H. James Cook in uh, 1984. But in early 1980, with his great great grandfather's recipe, he started brewing a, a lager beer that he went around to all the taverns in clubs that had bars in them and started uh, giving taste on the brew and they liked it. People enjoyed it and they started purchasing it. And then the rest is history. He's got uh, breweries in Cincinnati, Ohio, Boston, and um, one in Pennsylvania, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. I like that sound. Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. So he's doing well. The company's doing well. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, 2013, he, he actually developed another style beer, beer can, which is this here. We can see it. It's got a bigger opening on it than the, uh, the other beer can. So actually, uh, it comes out easier because more air gets in as you're drinking it. Uh, the wind is kicking up in the rain. So it's kind of uh, get this going pretty fast. Uh, Let's see what else we have. Alright, what we're gonna do? Let's get to the drinking. <laughs> we got the mug. Enjoying these these mugs. Just grab them and see the water vapors coming out. Oh yeah, that's red. Hmm, getting the aromas here. The malty sweetness. Oh yeah, rain's coming down really good now, really hard. There's the bro. I we can hear. Let's uh, take a second. Can you hear? <laughs> you can see it in back of me here. Here's the bro. Really, um, a coppery color on that. Real coppery color. Amber head on it, nice big head on it. Really a red, red beer. That really is really a reddish copper color beer. Uh, rain is coming through. Right. Red is getting hot. Let me take a quick cut. There's something on this fast now. Nice aroma on it. Malty. A sweet maltiness. Probably oh, should uh okay yeah, we need the camera to come in. Rain, wind blowing the rain 
this way. Uh, I, um, <laughs> I taste malty. A lot of maltiness. Nice medium body. Rain's still get, coming down hard. Ground's getting wet. It's brewed well. This is a well brewed uh, ale, for sure. I wish they out here put down what the in for hops and the malts were in this here. It's got the combination. Ah, 